Welcome to the weekly piece on the Parsha from Torah Giants on Chomish by Rabbi Yitzchak Meir Goodman. Welcome to Torah Giants on Chomish. I'm Steve Geller. Once again, Rabbi Goodman is going to take an episode in the Torah that we are all familiar with and give us two just dynamic new insights that explain the story in much deeper and more meaningful ways. Seriously, get ready. In our Parsha, Avraham is negotiating with Hashem whether stone can be saved if there are 50 tzaddikim. Let's look closely at these psukim. What if there should be 50 tzaddikim besochair in the midst of the city? Would you still destroy it rather than save it for the 50 tzaddikim within it? What's the significance of besochair in the midst of the city? In Oznayim Latorah, Rav Zalman Saratskin describes how he once overheard some irreligious youth detailing how they had spent Yom Kippur partying in bars, not in shul. They even said that one of their friends decided not to come along because he was a tzaddik. Rav Sarutskin thus saw that in certain circles, one can become a relative tzaddik for almost nothing. Avraham knows that there are no tzaddikim in stone, so he appeals on behalf of those who are tzaddikim in the midst of the city. In other words, by comparison to the rest of this evil population. For if they are destroyed, Hashem's name would be profane, since people see them as tzaddikim and will not understand why they are being punished. Hashem generously responds with, If I will find 50 tzaddikim, even on the level of the socha'ir, in the midst of the city, I will forgive them. Without at least 10 such tzaddikim, however, stone cannot be saved. Surely, when describing residents of an immoral city of stone, we saw a suggestion that the term tzaddikim is relative to that immoral population. But as we said, the Torah doesn't call people tzaddikim lightly. Let's look closer at what's really going on. The word tzaddikim is consistently written with two yuds, but in our Parsha, when it's potentially describing tzaddikim within the immoral city of Stone, it's consistently written with only one yud. One yud is lacking. This indicates that anyone called a tzaddik within the city of Stone is also lacking. How unusual is it to spell it in this way? Tzaddikim, spelled with two yuds, is found 49 times in Tanakh. Tzaddikim, with only one yud, is found only eight times in Tanakh. Tzaddikim with one Yud is found only five times in the Chumash, three here in our Parsha Vayera. The other two refer to counterfeit Tzaddikim, the first comparing Jews to the other nations, and the other describing a Tzaddik that takes bribes. Both of those are in Devarim. But here things get really, really interesting. Avraham appeals to Hashem in the present tense. Perhaps there are 50 tzaddikim in the midst of the city. But Hashem mercifully answers in the future tense, if I will find 50 tzaddikim in the midst of the city. This indicates that even if Hashem doesn't find 50 tzaddikim in stone, but their descendants will be, Hashem is willing to forgive. Avraham immediately recognizes the implication of this expression, and from here on, he too pleads in the future tense. What if the 50 tzaddikim should lack five? And Hashem confirmed, I will not destroy if I find 45. And from here on, the narrative is in the future tense. So we see here two factors that many of us never considered before. One, that Hashem brought into the negotiation with Avraham not only how many tzaddikim were currently within the city, but even if there would be tzaddikim later born to members of Stone, he would count those future descendants in the calculation of the 10 needed to save the city. And number two, we see clearly that Avraham wasn't looking for actual tzaddikim, for the Torah spelled the word tzaddikim in our Parsha with one yud lacking, for those tzaddikim would indeed be lacking. Thank you again for watching. Once again, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends and family to do so, so none of you miss another amazing insight from Rabbi Yitzchak Meir Goodman's masterpiece, Torah Giants on Chumash.